Hey everybody, this is Jaffe and we are back with a part two in our series on uh, advanced custom fields and custom post types UI plugins and uh, utilizing them. And in the previous podcast, we just went ahead and set up a custom post type with some fields in it. And now we're actually going to put that information on the front end that's viewable uh, by people viewing your site. So a couple things I did in between recording is I added a couple new um, movies. And in those movies, I put the year and I actually put the real IMDB description and then I created a new field called my thoughts and so if we go into the custom fields all I did to do this was just click edit and added my thoughts field and it's just a text area and then a little you know instruction on what I did and then I hit update and it added it to my movie section so and I went in and did all that <clears throat> so, um, we do have a page named Movies. We need to create a template for this um, page uh, so that it will show on the front end. And before we really get into this, I just want to let you guys know that the theme I'm using uh, is the Foundation HTML5 Boilerplate theme by uh, Drus Drusimo. Um, I just forked it over onto my site, so github.com slash jaffe75 slash foundation, you can find it, or under the title you can click on the original. Um, I haven't made any changes to it, I just grabbed it so I'd have easy access to it. Uh, he hasn't done any updates uh, in, for a couple months, but there's no reason to, it's, it's fantastic. So the reason I'm using it is because it's ease of use, you're using HTML classes, uh, to style so we won't have to get into a lot of styling to make this thing work really well and it's fully responsive so this is not a tutorial on how to use foundation though you'll get s the gist of some of it um, just by me using it uh, in here so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull up sublime text 2 and I am going to go ahead and create a page so it's gonna call it movies page .php. And in that page, I'm actually going to open up the regular page.php file, copy everything, and paste it in here. And to make this a template, all we need to do is say template name movies. And if we go ahead and refresh this, we can use the movies template, click update, and on the front end, nothing's changed but that's alright because it's just copying everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this sidebar because I know I don't want this sidebar. So if we refresh this, the sidebar is going to go away. And I also know that I want to use a large 12 columns instead of a large uh, 9. <clears throat> Not that you can see the difference, but I am going to go ahead and put this while loop within a panel div. And this is a um, class created by uh, foundation and it automatically puts everything into a nice little container that you can see. <clears throat> so let's get started with our new uh, uh, column and our new panel and we'll get started with that here. So I'm just going to create a new div of large six now the reason it's six is because I'm gonna put one on each side on the left and a right so this will automatically put put one on each side and then we'll go back in here and do this columns and I'm using Zen coding so um, it's a little bit faster just to create divs and stuff not as much typing uh, and then within that I'm gonna do a panel class and so I can keep track of everything I'm going to go ahead and comment the end of these divs large 6 and large 12 okay so if we go on the front end now we should have that well one of them at least right so it's gonna what it's gonna do is it's gonna continually put um, one on the one on the left here and then one on the right when we have another one and one left one on the right blah 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 you get it so the first thing I want to do is create a thumb title group. So I'm going to create another class and I'm going to call it thumb 
title. Uh, and then I put a class of group in here, and I'll show you why that's going to be my clear fix. And we'll go ahead and do this thumb title. And I don't know if you guys can hear the kids outside, but they're very loud. So. <clears throat> okay. So within that uh, the thumb title group, I want to actually put the um, the post thumbnail and the title. So let's create a div for the post thumbnail. So we'll just do a class of thumbnail and we'll open that up and we'll do the post thumbnail and we're going to make sure that it is the thumbnail size and then inside of here inside an h5 tag I'm going to put the title the title and let's see how that looks movies now, who can tell me what I did wrong? Anyone? Anyone? Okay, I can tell you what I did wrong. I didn't put a, I didn't uh, do a new query. <laughs> so let's do this. My movies equals new WP query. We'll do an array. And within that array, we will do post type. And this is all we really need to do. And we're going to make this my movies. And now we're going to do our while loop while while All right, now let's end our while loop down here. And this, boom, there we go. So now we have our thumbnail, our title of the four movies. And uh, see how that large six just nicely separates everything. It's really pretty. <clears throat> so within the title is where I want to put our the date. So I'm going to go ahead and create a span inside of that. And now to put the date, I need to create a variable of date. And we're going to go ahead and pull the date time from the format that's created. So we have a quick little function that we call here. It's called date time. And then we're going to say create from format and YMD. Now this is code that's straight from uh, the advanced custom fields website so I'm just using it because it's readily available that you can go and uh, see it at any time and then we're gonna get the field here of year because that was the name of the field that we had our date in and then I'm gonna go ahead and echo out date with the uh, format of year and it's just because that's all I want is to grab the year. So now we should see next to the space balls and the day after tomorrow, we've got the year that those came out. And again, that's in information right in here. Okay, so it's calling the year. Now we need to pull out um, my rating and my thoughts. So we have still within the um, thumbnail uh, title, we're going to go ahead and pull the um, rating. I'm sorry. Um, so let's go ahead and create a paragraph tag here. And we're going to say my rating. And my rating is going to be the field um, what did I call it? My rating, didn't I? My underscore rating. So let's go ahead and refresh this and see. My rating, awesome. My rating good. My rating good. Great. Let's go ahead and put a I'm going to put a span class around this 
because I am going to want to <clears throat> I'm going to go to want to uh, change the way that one looks specifically. So now all we need uh, we have left are uh, my thoughts and um, the description, right? So let's go ahead and get out of the title here and we'll create a new title or a new div and we'll call this content. And within that content, we're going to go ahead and put the description of the movie. So we'll do a p tag, the field description. Just, just see how easy this is to call these fields out. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It's so nice, so convenient. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and put in uh, a new panel with my thoughts here. So we're going to do panel. And we're going to say H6, say my thoughts. And within that, there's a P tag. We're going to do the field my underscore thoughts. And this panel, let's go ahead and panel white. I'm going to call it white because I'm going to change the color of it to white. So I'm going to give it a, another class of white. And this is our content right here. <clears throat> and I believe that that should be everything. Let's go back and check. So we have the description, we have my thoughts, we have the rating, we have the date, and all that information. That's really all you need. So we can go in and style this stuff. So let's go ahead and style a few things just, uh, just so we have it here. So we'll go ahead and put some styles on the movie page. First thing I'm going to take is I'm going to create my clear fix. So that group class after I'm um, going to make a clear fix because I plan on doing a float inside of it. So uh, I want to make sure that it doesn't collapse on itself. And let's actually, oops, let's go ahead and split the screen. I forgot how to do that. How do I split the screen? I forget. View layout. Two columns. Oh, command alt two. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Apparently, uh, some of the shortcuts I use for Sublime uh, don't work with Camtasia. So let's go ahead and create two columns here. And we'll move my style over here. And let's see what we've got. We've got the thumb title, thumb title, and actually, let's do a margin bottom of 15 pixels. <clears throat> and then on our thumbnail class, we're going to float this to the left and do a margin right. And you guys probably can't see that well, huh? Let's give ourselves some space here. So a thumbnail, we're going to float left, margin right of 15 pixels as well. And let's see, the title should be fine. Let's do the span with the class of, what is our span class? We need to give it a class. We need to give this a class of date. So span with a class of date. We're going to give it a font size of 14 pixels just to make it a little bit smaller. And also what I'm going to do is on this echo, I'm going to go ahead and echo Let's see. At the beginning of the span class, we're going to do this and do this. I think this is what I want. Let's go ahead and check this out and make sure. Yeah, there we go. And let's go ahead and make my rating a different color. So, rating color red. Excellent. And then our panel, I want that to be white. So let's go ahead and do panel white is going to be background, 
color white. Easy enough. There we go. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. So now if we add a new movie, it'll automatically go ahead and put it up here in the first place. And in fact, let's do that really quick just so you can see the process. So add a new movie. Um, let's see. The Mist. I remember that movie. So let's go ahead and look up The Mist in IMDb. 2007, we've got our short description here. Excuse me, and the year, what, what do we decide? 2007, and since we're not showing the whole date, we'll just put 2007. Oops. Whatever. Uh, my rating, eh, it was good. Um, okay, movie had some good parts. And this would be like a horror kind of sci-fi. I don't know. Um, there's some action. And let's get that image here. So IMDB is great. We can just take this and call it Mist. And then we'll go ahead to the featured image and set the featured image. Upload files. We can just drag Mist on here. Set the featured image. Publish this bad boy. And boom, the mist. Easy, easy peasy. So that's it. Now there's a couple more things I want to cover with you guys, the repeater field and the flexible content field. We'll get into that in the next couple screencasts. So thanks for listening.